Antisocial Rojo. Um, this week has been very, very interesting. I've been brought up in, excuse me, I have been invited to several different conversations. Several different conversations on gun rights. The Second Amendment. 27 uh, words that are made up in the Constitution. 27. Let's get, let's talk a little controversy. What am I feeling on gun rights? Uh, the conversations I would bring into were how, as an African American, I feel on gun rights. Um, now, these people that brought me into these conversations don't know me. <laughs> they don't know that I have 12 different firearms between rifles, a shot, shotguns, and assault rifles, and mostly pistols, that I am a registered concealed weapons carrier in 43 states. I have I hold two licenses in two different states for concealed weapons. But the question was asked to me as a part of the African American community. Let's get even more controversial. I'm not African American. I'm black. I'm a black American uh, with African ancestry. I am very proud of my African roots being African American, but I've never been to Africa. Well, let me change that. I have been to Africa, but my family wasn't born in Africa. I am a black American. But back to the question, uh, this person asked me, how do I feel about gun rights? Now this is the, the gun right act advocates. How do you feel? Don't you think we should ban guns. Don't you think we should do this? Don't we should think we should do that? And the reason this person kept using me as the African American asking these questions are look what's going on in Chicago. Look what's going on in my adopted city now. It has nothing to do with guns. I can lay a gun down on a desk, on the floor, on a table and say, shoot, shoot gun, shoot. The gun's not gonna shoot. It's not gun rights, it's not gun control that's gonna stop killings. It's the people with the guns, the right people with the guns. Well, here we go again, We this person uses, we ought to have better scanning systems. We should vet people better. I completely agree with that. But make no mistake, I don't want gun laws. If we had gun laws today, or restricted gun laws, or the government try to take all our guns, would they be successful? Man, it's a bunch of weirdos, a bunch of militias, that I don't think you're gonna get those guns. You wanna have a civil war? I don't think you're gonna take all those guns. Should we take them? My personal belief, no. I am a gun carrier. I love going to the gun range. I shoot. I take my family. My son is in the Marines. I don't have to take him. He is trained. But my youngest daughter has been trained on how to shoot a firearm. She's been trained gun safety so do I want to see gun laws no do I think they can take all the guns there's an estimate of 300 million guns in the United States and present day that they know of do you think they can take all those guns do you think these radicals are going to let you take all their guns no there's no way. Then, we, as the African-American community, again, I'm a black American, the African-American community, black Americans, we need to know our rights. 
we need to understand the laws and use those laws to our advantage. Every state has different laws. Every state has different circumstances that you carry. You have some states that are open carry, and if you don't know, open carry is where you can carry a gun on your hip like the Wild Wild West. Do I believe in that? If you have the right, if you're legally able to carry a gun, carry a gun. I personally have never uh, carried open carry. Uh, some states, as long as you are a legal resident with a legal driver's license, you can carry a gun. Excuse me, you can have a gun. You can carry a gun in your vehicle. It's a lot of myths that you have to carry the magazine in one compartment and the gun in another compartment. That is completely false. Again, know the law. As long as you have valid driver's license and legally are able to obtain a weapon. Now, legally, you know your, your rights. You know what you've done. You know your criminal background. But you can carry a gun Say, my brand of gun is Glocks. I own several different Glocks. You can carry your weapon with a magazine and a, and a round chamber. And what a round chamber means, you can carry one locked and loaded. There's no need of carrying a gun and you got a chamber around to fire. No, makes no sense at all. Makes no sense at all to carry a gun and have a gun separated from a magazine. It be it one in the glove compartment, one in armrest. That makes no sense at all. Also, you need to know your rights per state. You can get in very, very deep trouble carrying guns across states, state lines. That's the responsibility of the gun owner to know those laws. Now within my family and friends, uh, people that know me intimately, I am the resident gun expert, but I'm far, far from that. What I am is I know my rights. I know if a police officer approaches my car, I know my rights. I know what I should do. Um, the current state that I live in have some of the stricter laws and re regulations to be a concealed carry person. How do I feel about that? At first, when I applied, I thought this was the silliest thing in the world coming from a state where all you needed was a license. But coming to my adopted state now, you have to go through eight hours of training, be tested and fire your weapon. After meeting a lot of people that are concealed weapon carriers, people that carry without a concealed weapon, you can tell the people that have been through that training and the people that haven't been through that training. Um, now, I pretty much love that law. Um, you also need to know there's a law between states or I'm not so, not so much a law, it's a, actually what they call it is reciprocal states. You can buy a gun in certain states and the neighboring state will also recognize your concealed carry license from your home state. But you have to make sure because the gun laws in one state are not applicable to the gun laws in another state. They're completely different. So you need to know your rights. But back to the question at hand, do I believe in gun laws? The person that was an advocate of gun laws, um, excuse me, stronger gun laws are, re, are taking our guns. This person's argument was all the mass shootings. Again, guns have nothing to do with mass shootings. Are you gonna take 
demolitions, dynamite, explosives away from construction workers. Um, are you going to take knives off the road? Because people have died from knives. Are you going to take guns off the, off the road? Uh, excuse me, cars off the road. People have died in automobile. Um, killers have used recently in New York, in London, they've used vehicles as deadly weapons. Um, people have used knives. So guns are not the problem. Again, I can sit my gun completely loaded on the ground, on the table, and say, gun, fire. That gun's not going to shoot me. That gun is not going to shoot. So, know your rights. Know how to operate a gun the correct way to carry a gun. Know your rights as far as gun law. Am I an advocate of stronger gun laws? Yes. I'm an advocate of screening better, vetting people better. Doing a criminal background check is not enough. You have people with mental abilities. You need people that place the laws to know the laws. People that sell guns, which I am applying for FFL. And if you don't know, that's a federal firearms license that would allow me to sell guns. So y'all look out for that. Opening my own business, FFL, I'm, I'm going to sell custom weapons. But back to my point, it's to, up to the people that are selling the guns to do a complete background check. Hey, y'all want to talk about it? You think my views are too um, open, too broad? You want to argue, you want to discuss. Let's do it. You might change my mind. I might change your mind. If you all want to see my gun collection, my personal gun collection, and like I said, I am a custom builder. I'm going to get more into that. If you want to see some of my weapons, let me know. We can talk. If you have another topic that you want to talk about and see if you feel the same way or I feel the same way or the community feel the same way, let's bring it up. This is more like what my channel is going to be. It's going to be more of a vlog, talking trash. Uh, notice I didn't even talk about those war pigeons. All's right in the world, though. They're back at the bottom where they belong. Roll Tide. This is Mr. Antisocial Rojo. Get at me. If you liked the video, didn't like the video, let me know. Get in the comments below. Tell me how you feel. Tell me what I did wrong, what you agree with, don't agree with. Tell me what I did right. Uh, like, share. I'm trying to build my channel up. Uh, I'm bored. So let's see what we can do.